This is Alishama and in this video we are going to take a look at the bounce car or bouncing car. Basically it's a clone of uh, I think the parrot sumo drone which you know with two wheels can jump up, uh, you know jump the distances or jump the obstacles. Uh, this is the same thing right here but it's called a bounce car and it's an exactly the same copy of Sumo. Now the copies well, appearance wise can be really really nice, uh, very exactly the same thing, but can these things be exactly the same when it comes to the performance of this toy? I think the Parrot one can be controlled by the iPhone, iPad and you know some kind of application, but this one has its own radio control, little flat radio control. Let me take it outside the box, give it a closer look, and then we're gonna drive it around and see how far, how high it can jump, will it break when it's landing, and whether it's a good alternative to those expensive Parrot Sumo drones. Okay, here is outside the box the little bounce car, but hey, don't get sued, whatever company you are, it says Jumping Sumo on the user manual. So they have given you uh, two of these uh, jumping cushions that you can install backside, a simple everything from Shanto comes from this one. Who makes this USB cable? They must be making it like 1000 a day. Everything has this kind of USB cable charging for it. Anyway, so we have a stickers, we have a radio or remote control for the sumo car. Looks like a cell phone. It has an arrow which says push up to open, which is common sense, but actually it will open downwards and you can install the battery. So don't keep pushing up like just like I did. I was pushing it upwards and almost broke it. Anyway, so down it will open and up it will close. Alright, so here it is, the little car. Uh, I think it has enough batteries so I can actually turn it on right away. There you are. The little sumo is active. Now I need to put the batteries in the radio or remote control and give it some jumpy bumpy ride right here. So here we have the little bouncy bouncy car on the floor now we are going to drive it but before that look at this control okay, so here we have the radio basically uh, I was playing around with this bouncing car and I found it's not that easy to drive or not that actually convenient to drive around but it can be fun for kids so we have forward and backward and then pressing this button it just keeps going backward for a certain period and then it stops I mean, for a certain distance and it stops this button does not do anything this button will make it jump this but these two buttons left right does not do anything but these two will make it turn quickly for a certain angle and this will make it turn crazily for two seconds and this one says in the user manual that it will make the tires wheels go out like wheels go out and make it wider but hey when I press nothing happens all right anyway so let's just drive this little bouncy bouncy car and see how it behaves
Ha 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 ha!